So today I have my good friend Madison Hi. Crawley. Not Hello. Madison Crawley. No. Mm -mm. Everybody thinks that there's an or there. There's not. There never was. And I'm sick of it. But yes. You give it a lot. A lot. Crawley. Matt, are you Maddie Crawley? Are you the girl that does the Facebook videos? Yeah, that's so <laughs> Yeah, Maddie Crawley. I get it. But like, how did they get, how did they, why did they add an or? I don't know. It's not there. No, it never was. Well, let it be known from here on in, it's Crawley. We'll Thank spell you. it here on the screen. Thank you. Yeah, that in my <laughs> How are you today? I'm great, James. Great cool. now. <laughs> this is so overwhelming. <laughs> it's like a dream come true. It's like make a wish. <laughs> this is actually her make a wish. Yeah. Keep on, Are you taller than me? Maybe I'm not. Let's check yeah. real quick. Oh, there you are. Yes. Slightly. Yeah. yeah, the one inch is there. <laughs> now that we have that bit out of the way. Mm. This is our first like time Santa. together sober, isn't it? Um, that would be correct, yes. Well, well pride. pride. So, Brett Pride, Longitude was the first time we met them. Yes! Because you were in the VIP, and then Thomas was with you, and he was like, come on up. Mm. But did you know me before that? Yeah, I followed oh, okay. you on Instagram. Actually, oh, this did. is kind of the theme of the video I wanted to go with us mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. So, let's talk about the first time we met. So, it was actually at Longitude. Yeah. Um, I was locked to shoot. Uh, mm, you, you were there. Were, yes. Um, but no, I had followed you for ages beforehand. Oh. Yeah, I've always known of you, of course. I mean, a gay icon. Thanks. So, and that's no problem. Tell me more things. Uh, yeah, of course. Um, do you but like my eyes? Yeah, I love them. <laughs> I actually really do love brown eyes. Yeah, yeah all the women. Well, too. most of the women I fancy have yeah. brown eyes. Then we have a few blue. Ever fancy any um, women growing up? Yeah, I did. I was in love with Buffy, vampire Sarah. Sarah and Paul Geller? <laughs> You've never seen Buffy? Mm -mm, I don't oh my god, you. Wait, so is it like a vampire movie? She's been, it was a TV show, massive in the maybe Oh, I do know this bitch, yeah, yeah, of course I know her, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Um, so she went, she was the teenage vampire, mm. so she used to go around slaying vampires. Mm. And um, so yeah, I used to yeah. fancy her loads, really? but I think I more fancied her, she had what the kids would say, big dick energy, like she was a real, right. I fancied her, oh, yeah. her energy, mm, do you know what I mean? That. Yeah, so um, yeah, yes. it was in love with Buffy, no, I was attracted to the odd, odd female, but mm. I was definitely knew I was a gay from a very young age. Really? I think it was when I first started to properly be it, like sexually attracted, it yeah. was, it went towards yeah. men, where I think I fancied Buffy's energy right. more than her had, like, ladiness. Yeah, like a lust kind of. Yeah. Sure. Uh, what's the main one you fancy? Oh no, it changes and I feel bad. Um, Taylor Schilling was for like years. I have posters of her and everything. So yeah, yeah there's that. Then we have Miss Sarah Paulson. Mm. She's American Horror Story. She would get it five times, honestly. Yeah, yeah just a woman. <laughs> um. okay. Oh James, sorry, I forgot to say that um, Carol's ex in the movie is played by Sarah Paulson. <laughs> Are you kidding? Are you able? Like honestly, but then Therese hates Abby in the book. We don't even know that in the film. I mean, what the fuck, you okay. know? But that Carol Academy Award, um, <laughs> honestly, the Academy, the Academy, we really love that movie. You're, that's a lot of women you're talking about mm. there. Were you always into the women? Well, you know, I really peaked with the willies back when I was younger, <laughs> but my willy days, you know, they're kind of over. I'm so sorry. Mine are just beginning. Just beginning. Just beginning, mm, mind you. Yeah. When I when I started when I started to follow you, you I think we're into both. And right. then you veered off into oh, milk land. Again. <laughs> um, oh my god, coming out. Um, That's the title of this yeah. video. Valka oh Crawley so comes out. <laughs> Crawls out. Oh, so, like with boys like growing up, you see, when I came out as bi, which I regret it like so much. I came really? out. Really? Yes. Because Why? people are always calling me the bi queen and I'm like, am I? Am I really your bi queen? No, the answer is no. Yeah. But yeah, like it's, you see, I just wish I didn't like come out at all and just like say like no labels or whatever. But then when I yeah. came out as bi, I was like 16. Wait, was I? No, 15? 
Anywho, I came out and then I was like, right, well, I'm coming out as bi because I knew that I had liked girls then, so I just presumed I yeah. liked boys when, like, I don't know. Because, you see, like, I could watch, like, maybe, like, men having sex from afar, but I wouldn't want to join in. <laughs> like, with the, you know, like, the Elio and Oliver, I was like, well, like, look at them go. Like, my fanny <laughs> was fluttering. But I didn't want to hop in, you know? Like, I was like, no, like, you can keep it. So, from afar, you would yeah. buy Yeah. Right. Okay. And mm. so, the type now would be... From your Instagram, very obvious. Uh, it's yeah. an older lady. I know, but they just don't Tense. want to catch a case. <laughs> yeah, like, Tends just, to be a blonde. Oh my god, actually one of them. Okay, I don't know if I can say this. Wait, no, one Wait, of them. Ever. One of them uh, texted me and she like got um got me got my username from you from like Pride, I think it was. <laughs> Is this from when I was like, yeah, the all the milks with four tomatoes? Well, she's 31. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's not like, you know, she has no kids. Okay. But she fully like texted me, right? But then I like, didn't want to, whatever. So I'm like, well, you know, just. Just it. You know, but like, like why? Yeah, well, what? Thanks. <laughs> but why? Um, like she, and then it got weird because then I think she wanted to or something. Oh really? Um, like, is she good looking? Yeah, but... Can yeah. we share some screen caps? Oh my god, no. <laughs> but like, I just, I didn't get it. Like, are we... Are you gonna be friends? Yeah. Like, is yeah. this... I'm bored. Well, if you're watching this, let's accelerate it. Oh! Okay, first, will you tell me, because I want to hear it again, sure. about your chewing story? That's absolutely hot. <laughs> so basically, I would have been 12, but you see, I was like who the boys would come to if they wanted to get on fridge tires because I was the town slut. Uh, I really was, especially where like I lived. Yeah. I remember actually even before this, there was a guy who doesn't even say hello to me now. Bit rude, we've been neighbours for like, he's not going to see this because I know he doesn't watch my videos, it's fine. Rude. But he literally lives like two doors down and um, we kissed. Well, I was his first kiss. I, we were like 11 then. Yeah. But uh, I actually seen him yesterday, his voice is so deep now, it's weird, anywho. So we were in his room and like we'd go into the wardrobe and like kiss in the wardrobe and this was like a full on meet, like I was 11 years of age, like there was done. And then we'd be on the bed and all like sprawled. What? Yeah! Child porn, actual child porn, I know, I'm sorry. Uh, but it wouldn't, no, I mean it wouldn't go any further than this. Okay, Jesus. yeah. But um, I don't know, very like, I would do role play, like I was a mermaid and stuff and then I'd be like swimming on a swing, insane. So anyways, the word must have got around. And but this, this is what you offer right your okay so this dude was like um he would have been well two three years older than me so i was 12 so he would have been about like 15. Okay. oh goodness he's meeting me on the green yeah in front of my house the green yeah so the, green. All went down. Oh, the green the green well the forest like off of the green oh like, the, the forest right, okay forest, for the forest, right. for yeah they, mm, of mm. course um, so he came out and he had like his high top Nikes on, he had his hair gelled, like he was ready to go, I was like, whatever, bring it on, I'm bored. Uh, so we kissed, no, Jesus, no, it wasn't on the green, sorry, we had met up at the green, then the crew went to... Okay. And was this one yeah. of this, these situations that happened to me where there'd be two people kissing and everyone would stand around watching? Watch. They used to it's always so do creepy. that. I know, especially in primary school at the back gates, everybody mm. would have like their uh, phones, phones out. Phones, yeah. I remember I had a hello, I remember I had a hello kitty one and I was like recording my cousin, like kissing someone, like what a perv, ew. Yeah, so we'd all like stand around, but, but he had just had the whole packet of chewing gum beforehand and like how many chewing gums we saw? No, five? Like a, oh, a good five, but like still <laughs> spread on around in there. It was absolutely vile. And did you do anything to practice kissing when you were younger? Because I used to, me and my friend used to sit on the wall and like score our kneecaps. So we'd be like, the knee was a thing. And yeah. we both look at each other like, no, I <laughs> maybe more tongue. Really? Like, oh, I wouldn't do it with someone. Like, well, I wouldn't do it with someone. We're giving each other pointers. Me. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, I'd no. do it on my hand, but alone. Or maybe on my knee as well. So you'd, you'd yeah. score your hand? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course. Do you do a demo? No, it's not <laughs> But um, I actually wanted to ask you, when yeah. did you like get into it? Did you get into like the whole like influencing thing? Did you post videos first? Yeah, so I used to scare William. Hmm? William. <laughs> William. <laughs> Five years now. Jesus. Yeah. Bell and Grinder. 
course. Made a career on Snapchat. So I'm always on that mm -hmm. somewhere. Yeah, of course. Um, but yeah, no, I started scaring him and people found it funny and loads of people followed me because of that. And then we started to like record ourselves cooking and like it just grew and grew yeah. what I would record. Oh. So that's how it all happened. Really? Just I didn't think you started that year, way. It would have been about three years ago now at this oh stage. Goodness. Yeah, I don't know. It's built some career. Yeah, yeah. How did it all start for you? Well, I started posting videos on Facebook mm. and I post every Saturday, like just uh, a rant or, you know, what would be in for the teens, Yeah. what the teens would relate to. <laughs> Maybe if I was just like talking about how parents are annoying or whatever. And then one of them like really blew up the Justin Bieber one because I was talking about Justin Bieber's new fans and like he's mine and you know. The 2012 Believe World Tour. Who was there? This girl! He hasn't been on tour in three pucks years, but I was at the last. Um, I was a Justin Bieber really? stan. Oh, Jesus Christ, yeah. Whenever he'd come on, like, the TV or anything, like, I'd bawl my eyes out the stairs. Like, I loved him. I've seen him, like, four times. Really? Yeah, no, not met him. Yeah. Just, just in you know. concert. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, love and that guy. What is your opinions on his transition into who he is now? Because he is very different to what he was. So different. Yeah. yeah, sure. When it was, do you remember, like, Cut for Bieber and all, when people were self harming for him? Yeah. Like, the whole thing. And when he was pissing into buckets when he was 17. Yeah. Honestly, wish I had the life right now. I'm <laughs> bored. Uh, yeah, like, I don't know, he's, he's Do you still definitely, love him? yeah, like, I have, like, a big love for him because, yeah. um, you know, he was, like, the first person that I, like, stand and posters and everything yeah. for, like, my room was covered and the bed sheets and all and everything, but, um, yeah, Do you know it's funny, I, I, now. Annie, a, a lot of my lesbian friends mm. would fancy Justin Bieber, really, like, he, they, they would have fancied him growing up. And Does he look like a little girl? Do you know what I mean? Maybe there is something to do with there. And yeah. obviously you fancy. Mm. Well, you did maybe fancy. Yeah. Oh, he's. Oh, he'd he still get it. He's yeah. extremely pretty. Oh yeah, he yeah. still is. I don't know. Really, he looks like a bit dirty now, like with his long hair and stuff. But like still, like a look. Yeah. You know? Even now, he'd be too boyish for me. I'm yeah. more into like I like men that are verging orcs or that are verging almost monstery type look right, like course. big deformed rugby players are my yeah. kind of yeah that's my kind of thing and diana's too okay school school love that place okay primary school versus secondary school mm -hmm. did you prefer, do you prefer one to the other or was the transition Straight, easy, easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well the transition was easy because i'm an attention horse so yeah. i remember that like one of the first days of first year this is so scary it happened um, I was like, right, can I run for the class? <laughs> <laughs> and I had just been in. In secondary like, school? This is in first year. So, like, calm down. Like, this is where you start to get bullied. Like, so you just like, offered to your oh, drop. Yeah. Oh, drop. Uh, because we were going around, like, you know, it's like, I'm Madison, I do Gaelic, whatever. I think. Yeah. Like, you know, you have to say one thing. I was like, yeah, can I rap? <laughs> and, like, I had just been on, okay, like, that summer gone. So I was 12. Yeah. I wasn't even 13 yet. But you know, the sixth past summer, I was just uh, in Bob Brickens Got Talent, right? Like my local talent show, and I had made up a rap, like a songwriter. This is way before Dyke Moves, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So I was rapping, living. Can you and, remember your rap? Oh uh, no, it was something, you know. Did you um, write the lyrics down or just do Oh, no, this was just like Nicky. Like, oh, no. Man, Green Mile. Yeah, no, no, this would have been like something Nicky Minaj. Like, like um, super bass, okay. like something like that. But, um, Oh my god, I was actually talking like to one of the girls. I remember like, you know, maybe like in third or fourth year and she was like, remember like you did that in front of us like scout for your life and I thought he was like, yeah, that's my talent trapping. <laughs> um, and so yeah, I was like really confident, yeah. like always. And then I actually started doing like the videos maybe in second year, but putting them on just like Madison Cody, just on like my mm. private Facebook page. And then everyone's like, oh, just make a like page. So it went like from there, so I was always, yeah. Okay, so it was fine. There was never any bullying or nothing. Well, yeah. You see, I don't know. I often like I would get. Um, I don't know. I would get like maybe in primary school like left out like a bunch, but it wouldn't yeah. be like severe like, yeah. bullying or anything. Um, so you always felt fine going to school and. Yeah, it was fine. I enjoyed. It. You did it. Not really. No, I absolutely love primary school. It was the best. Yeah. Just getting all the the roles of the plays. Mm. Popular. Loved the homework. It was very easy. There was no uh, hard maths. But I remember 
the transition from, for, from sixth class to first year was just like what? Because like it was a mixed school. Do you, are you in all girls? I'm in all girls. So I don't I believe in in segregation of skills, but that's right. another thing. I think we should all be mixed. Yeah. But I went from mixed to have the crack. I don't mind. Uh, yeah, don't mind. You're very happy about <laughs> it. Yeah, it's girls. With the status quo. You're so. Um, so yeah, I remember going from a mixed primary school into secondary school, but it was like weirdly bittersweet because. I went in and I started to realise I was gay and I was like I was like terrified of all these like giant men passing but right. like really attracted to them at the same time. Mm. So I was like, you're also scary and hot. Right, yeah. And then and then I think everyone became aware of the word faggot and aware of the word gay being used as a negative. So yeah. like if you're eating a Megan sandwich, the sandwich is gay. That's still is. This homework is gay. You know people still say that like in, in my your, year. In your you, year. Yeah, like I'm moving into six year people would be like, oh, this is gay, miss. I'm like, is it? <laughs> yeah. Where is she? Yeah, yeah, but if my brothers say that now, like, this is gay, I turn back and go, I am. They're like, yeah, but you didn't mean it in that way. <laughs> like, joking, but like, it still yeah. is. You. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I'd say it's probably less so than yeah. maybe when I was in school, but it was like, I associated that with a negative then because it was always used to describe a negative situation. Mm-hmm. So that's why my coming out was, was kind of delayed. But um, no, I loved um, I, I loved primary school. It was my was my yeah. was my jam. That's yeah. Did I you ever fancy any teachers at the secondary school? Oh god, yeah. 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 Usually the um, yeah. the substitute teachers. Yeah. Well, no, in. they're young, so yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Did you yeah. fancy your? Is there any particular <laughs> teachers maybe that you have? You stop it, James. <laughs> oh, Jamie, you keep me young. Speaking of first, this is your first time meeting Diane. Yes, it is, and any sort of naked cat. Ooh. Oh, but look at the side eye, James. <laughs> <laughs> she just takes a few minutes to get used to a person and then she's all over you, so she'll be snuggling up to you in a minute. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I have four cats at home because my mom. Do you? Oh, yeah. I never see them on your Instagram. Yeah, you know, I keep the pussies um, well away. Uh, no, you see, my mom took in a stray cat. Okay. Um, that was pregnant, like very much so pregnant. We weren't sure if it was like pregnant or a tumor, but she was a fatty. Um, and then, like a few weeks later, she gave birth to four. And you didn't kids. know this was gonna happen. Oh no, my mom was well aware. Like okay. my mom, like took her because she was pregnant, didn't want her, you know, roaming the streets. Yeah. And she was feeding her for a while when she wasn't. Mm-hmm. Um. So then, yeah, we took her in and. We gave one away to a neighbour, but we already have, we have three, and I think that my friend has taken another one, but yeah, like there's four kittens. Really? No, sorry, three kittens, but the mom. And are they your, are they your only pets you've ever had? Have you ever, had ever, ever, really? ever. I've never had any other pa- pets. Jesus, I can't speak. <laughs> I've never had any other pets, because my mother would say that she's um, allergic of everything. Really? Of cleaning. So thank you for watching James Meets Maddie. Um, I love that. Thank you. It is. I, I'm starving. I'm, I'm saying. We're gonna do a little mukbang for her channel now. But um, I would say see you here next week when I upload again, but I clearly won't. I'll see you in a few months when I upload a new video. So A few months? See yes. you then. I can feel it in my bones deep down. Run away, forget your face.